Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the solutions for week 4 assignment of soft skill development course. Friends, I hope every solution is 100% correct. If you want to suggest any changes, you can please ask me in the comment section. So, we will try to give the best purified answer for the viewers. So, please watch the video till the end because if I change any answer in between the video or if I explain anything, uh, you may miss that content. So please watch full video to avoid that. So moving on to the first question. 6 degrees of separation suggests that any two people in this world must have at least 6 psychological differences among them. Uh, this statement is false. Because the 6 degrees of separation means uh, any two persons in this world are separated by Six, in, uh, 6 or less than 6 intermediate persons so that is the meaning of that but they give uh, about 6 dif psychological differences so I think it is false and moving on to the second question proxemix is a type of dash communication strategy used for conflict management so for second question, the correct answer is option B, non-verbal. Proximix is a type of non-verbal communication strategy. So mark option B as correct answer for second question. And moving on to the third one. Dash is expressed struggle between at least two interdependent parties who pursue incompatible goals, states reward and interference from the other party in achieving their goals. So for third question, the correct answer is option A, conflict. So conflict is the correct answer for third question. That is option A. And moving on to the fourth question. Relationships play an important role in our life and the formulation of good relationships depend on proper. The answer for fourth question is third option. It depends on proper communication. So lack of communication may result in a relationship gap. So a good communication is necessary to build good relationships. So for the fourth question the answer is option C and moving on to fifth question the relationship between a shopkeeper and customer is an example of dash relationship guys for this one question only I am not sure about this uh, I hope uh, deep and passing is not the answers any of B or D may be the answer uh, I think it is casual but I am not guarantee about that. So if you guys anyone know about this correct answer, please comment in the comment section. So I am not sure about that. So I don't want to give you the wrong answer. If I get the answer, I will update in the comment section. So you can before the submission day, you can approach the comment section and see whether there is an update or not. And moving on to the sixth question. Which of the following are the stages in formation of a relationship? So, for sixth question, the correct answer is option D, all of the above. <coughs> so, mark option D as correct answer for sixth question. And moving on to the seventh one. Which of the following are indicated as the form of formal groups? So, for seventh question, the correct answer is option C, command groups. So, mark option C as correct answer for seventh question. And moving on to the eighth one. Which stage of group development in the Tuckman model groups are marked by a more serious concern about 
task performance and the dyads or triads begin to open up and seek out for other members in the group. So for 8th question, the correct answer is option B, norming. So mark option B as correct answer for 8th question. And moving on to the ninth one. In Fisher's model of group progression, in which stage the group recognizes that it is reaching consensus and explicitly consolidates that consensus to complete the task? So for ninth question, the answer is option B, reinforcement. So mark option B as correct answer for ninth question. And moving on to the 10th one, which of the following are the characteristics of a group? So for 10th question, the answer is option A, formal social structure. So the formal social structure is one of the characteristics of a group. So mark option A. And moving on to the 11th one. Dash groups are formed by members who enjoy similar social activities, political beliefs, religious values or other common bonds. So for 11th question, the answer is <coughs> option B, friendship group. So mark option B as correct answer for 11th question. The 12th question. Which of the following are the sources of conflict? So for 12th question, the correct answer is option D, all of the above. That means inadequate or poor communication, misuse of power, differences in ideologies and values. So everything is correct. So the answer all of, all of the above. Option D is the correct answer. <coughs> and moving on to 13th one. In recent times, many multinational companies use tweets for advertising. Why do you think they do so? So guys, uh, in 13th question uh, is slight doubt question. But generally, if we compare the uh, options, uh, tweets are easily accessible by everyone and the companies get sufficient customer feedback. Tweets can attract customers. Of Everything seems to be correct. So I am going with option D. It is not, I think it's not mentioned in the lecture. Uh, but it is if we can uh, able to attend this question I think so option D could be the probable answer <coughs> moving on to the 14th one so uh, three friends school there are three school friends namely uh, the three names they are given they share personal photographs information regarding class notes course syllabus etc and we call uh, this is this type of networking is called so it is called micro level social networking. It means small groups or individuals come under micro level. So mark option D. <coughs> and moving on to the final question of this assessment, that is 15th one. Which of the following sentences sentence about reference groups are correct? So for 15th question, option B, the main objectives of the group are seek or to seek social validation and social comparison is correct and the remaining three statements are not given in the lecture so i think they won't be the answers to get all of the above so the only given sentence for the reference group is option uh, b only so i am going with option b it is the only proof that uh, we can say option b is correct and they did not mention a and c in the uh, lectures so i'm going with option b so friends, these are the solutions for week 4 soft skill development course. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends. 